It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. We will make a sizable donation in the name of King Joffrey. A little presumptuous of you, Mira. But I like it. They'll be very grateful. <laughs> I had to borrow that from father. Mine was stolen, can you imagine? <laughs> I wonder who it was. <laughs> oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter oh, from Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter, I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard, oh, the man's oh, breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... what's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead then. Well... It's... We really should get them back Do you need any help with them? I've got them. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. We'll find another spot.
Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <laughs> From finger in his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years yes. ago. To defend what? the realm from wildlings. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Oh, Face like a queen, so tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. Oh, he tried to stick me with this. I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? Yeah, they're just not bad. You see, bad young. 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 Yeah, this, this, yeah, this. 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 Yeah, Potatoes? What are you talking about? I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the Potato Thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Total. Who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Crossfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. I know, Chang'an's a Gawish Punde, Kunde. Chang'an's a Gam, Timan, Tim, Kodaji, Timmy Hobbs. Chinjang, Pulu, Trun, here we go. Again. Who's up? See those dummies? Those are things. I need a Tun Snow, what's up? I need a Tun Snow breakfast. This is home now. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. 
Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Eyes <laughs> up! Just! Come on, keep at it. Eyes up! Eyes up! Get off me, you bloody ox! Got lucky. Oh, it's bloody cold up here. Okay. I don't. You're doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these where I. Man's ready to shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Okay. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Good. Target, chest. Not bad. Center between the eyes. <laughs> 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 Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. What's in it? 
It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. <laughs> Want some help? <laughs> Want some help? Thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing has it frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you so watch. Not holding my breath, brother. Not quite. <laughs> You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? I don't so. If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Kotter took it. You little fucking thief. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way! Got it! Do something! <gasps> what the fuck? This is a chance. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Get up! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't! And Garrett knew about it! The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. Lie to me! Is this what I can expect from you, Tuttle? On your first bloody day of training? Sir, Not I... Not another word! You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh. Mind your fucking manners. <laughs> you, come with me. Wow! This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. What did you want to talk about? Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest one. Wow, Damn. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. 
안 먹어. 나 절대 안 먹는다. A little won't hurt. 안 마셔, 씨발. 안 마셔도 나중에 나한테 마셨다 하겠지. Suit yourself then. So, I. Uh... 저기 어떻게 독국물이야? 지금 지가 먼저 마셨구만. 그럼 뒤져야지 여기서. 뭐? Well. I just. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She. Became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that, but to always have to hide. What happened to your mother? Lady Elena asked no questions. She took care of my mother, and. When I was born, she gave me the name Durwell. My mother died not long after. Oh. How did you get this far? I, I mean, I've been very lucky, I suppose. It's just, I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction to her. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that would be. Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it should mean a lot. And what would I stand to gain if I did this? Seven hells, Mira. Do you ever think about anyone besides me? I came to you. No, you're right. I'm sorry, Sarah. No, I'm sorry. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine, with what happened to your brother and your father. Yeah, then. 얘한테는 그 거리를 도와야 돼. Sure you, you look like you could use a drink. 어? 도착했다. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. We're just enjoying the sunshine. Is that what they're calling wine? Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you. 여기서 원래라면 세라가 가져왔는데 내가 여기서 제가 가져왔습니다 하면 세라가 나를 도와줄까라고 생각이 되는데. 내가 봤을 때는 어 아, 세라 족대기 하는 게 맞는 것 같은데 음, 아니 왜냐면 세라 아까도 막나 놀렸잖아 어제도 세라 집 share with me. Sarah took the wine from the cellars. You? I. Uh... It's always the quiet ones. I suggest bringing cups next time. 야이 사람 존나 인성 개 좋네. There are risks worth taking. Drinking wine stolen from the Queen Regent isn't one of them, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill. He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. 
It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his jumped cell swords, I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a Forrester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. We've been waiting oh. here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. That much is clear. A friend of Lord Tyrion's. What does that mean? Are we playing games now? She's too modest. Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our Crutch. ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tyrion. spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. Lord Andros, I'm truly sorry if I've upset you. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, oh, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The crown's ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, you'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fixed. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. Oh. 
They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us, then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? It's a higher one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known him. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll figure something out. Not exactly a plan, though, is it? Don't worry. He'll get it done. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Yes, we'll find out. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, perhaps Forrester will not survive to see winter. Looking like a lapilla dancing a menace.